Okay guys, in this video we are going to discuss how we publish our iBook that we created in iBook Author. Um, now the first thing you have to do before you can even publish a book is you have to create an iTunes Connect account. So let's go ahead and uh, get into that real quick. Which should just be iTunesConnect.com. I've got it in my favorites. It's iTunesConnect.Apple.com. Now I just used my same ID that I use for uh, my Apple App Store account. So you can do that and that's what I did. So go ahead and get signed in. Um, go through the account creation process. So once you have it created, then you're ready to start thinking about uploading a book. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to go ahead and do the contracts, tax, and banking information. Okay, You can't publish a book until you've agreed to their terms and conditions and until you fill out the proper paperwork, which you do all from right here. I think it took me all of 10 or 15 minutes to, to process all of that paperwork. So not a big deal. So after you've got the account created, and you've processed the paperwork, now you're ready to download the program that delivers your iBook to the store. So we simply want to click on Deliver Your Content, and we want to download iTunes Producer and uh, whatever version it is as when you're watching this video. So go ahead and download that, and uh, once you've got that downloaded, then come back to this video and we will discuss how to do the actual upload. So once you have it downloaded, you can find your iTunes producer and you want to open that. And now we're going to start the publishing process here. So make sure you're logged in to, using your Apple ID. And then we want to create a new package. And we're creating a new book. And then we're going to click Next. And then this is the first page that you'll see. And you'll notice you have books, assets, and delivery. We're going to de be dealing with just book for now. Okay. Now, what you'll have to fill out, you'll need an ISBN number. Now, this is a number that all books have to have. This is what identifies them. It's kind of like a serial number for your book. Um, you do have to purchase one of these. Now, you can go through what Apple recommends and pay a lot of money, or you can go through who I use, which is EPUB Bud. Dot com. Come on. And you can purchase an ISBN number for five bucks. This is where I buy all of mine. You get it instantly. So, I mean, there's like five minutes involved. You go in, you pay the five dollars, they email you the ISBN number right away. So, you got to have that. Um, so, once you have that, you'll enter in your ISBN number choose your language English whatever put in the title of your book subtitle if you have one publisher if you have one um, the date that you published it which would be today's date or whatever date you're you're gonna do it as um, and then you have to put in how many pages this book has so if it's 10 pages 100 pages whatever you gotta put that in there after you fill that information out you wanna come over here and this is where you'll put your description of your book Okay, so then we hit next, and um, actually to make things a little more obvious, I'm going to go ahead and open one of mine that I've already done, so you can see this a little bit better. So here's a book that I just published, so I've got my date in there, page length, uh, my description, my SBN number, uh, the title, and all of that. Hit next here you have to choose your category which mine was business and economics and then you choose like a subcategory which mine was e-commerce and internet marketing um, so just go ahead and select the category then you hit next then you choose author so you would hit add author and then just put your name in here or whoever the author of the book is if there's multiple authors you can add multiple authors here then we click next uh, who's your target audience? Um, mine's obviously Apple because that's going. It's going to be in the App Store. If you're creating like a school book or something like that, you can select one of those categories. And my target audience was just general. But if you're doing a children's book, you can choose children. If you're doing a college like book, a professional book, or whatever, you can add that stuff in there. And uh, so you're just choosing who your audience is going to be. Hit next. 
Um, here you can add like related products, which I didn't have any, and most people I think won't unless you have multiple books. Maybe it's a series of books, then you could add related products, and you would just simply add the ISBN number for those. But I didn't have one, so I didn't put it in there. Here you'll click the pricing. This particular book I was giving away for free, so I just um, you got to add the territory, United States. Uh, mine's digital start date and then you choose what tier so you can choose free or you can choose all the way up to thirty nine ninety nine which mine was free for that particular book so when you're done you hit next and now we're done with the book tab and it moves us to the assets tab now this is where you upload your publication into publication preview that we created in the last video so let me just kind of show you how this works Let's go to assets. So I need to choose my publication. So I'm going to click choose. And then on my desktop, I had uh, there's the preview and here's the actual publication. So I'm just going to open that. And then it adds it there. And then here we choose the preview that we created. So I'm just going to open that. And then there's the preview. Um, oops mean to do that. Go back to desktop. There's the preview. I'm just going to open that. So that's how you add your preview. Okay. So let me um, minimize this one and go back to the one that's already done so you can see what we're doing. So after we have our preview and our publication uploaded, the next thing we need is cover art. Now this you'll have to do yourself. The best way to do it, I think, is to just take a screenshot from within your uh, iBook author, um, which you can do by hitting Command Shift and the number four, and then you can kind of screenshot um, and add your cover art there. So your cover art's just going to be whatever you had on the inside of your iBook author. So let me uh, tell you what I'm talking about. So where it says book title, this is whatever you put here for your picture and title of your book that would be your um, your artwork that you would choose and then next is screenshots now this you have to do with an actual iPad okay so let me pull back iBook author here so once we're in iBook author you can plug in your iPad and then hit preview Okay, so and then it tells you what to do here to preview your book, connect an iPad, open iBook, select your iPad and devices below. And then, then your book will be on your iPad as a preview and then you can just take screenshots um, of the pages in your book with the iPad. I usually just take two or three screenshots, you know, nothing crazy. You don't want to give away too much of what's going to be in your book. Um, and then just I, I personally email those to myself and then I just add the screenshots in here by clicking add screenshot and then you can choose the picture from your desktop or wherever you do need to make sure you save them as JPEG so if you have a picture you can open it up in the preview um, that's on everybody's Mac I'm trying to find out where it's at on mine I'm not seeing it but when you open a picture in preview then you can export the picture as a JPEG. So just make sure it's in a JPEG format. And then the last thing you'll do is delivery. Now, if there is an issue with your book, um, you'll see some issues right here. And um, you just need to make sure you correct those before you hit deliver, and you simply click deliver when you're done. And then that takes uh, usually a good hour for me to deliver a product, but it, again, it just depends on how big your book is. So once you've delivered that, then you're, then you're done with the publishing process. And then, what you can do, let me close out of some of these windows here. Then you can go back to your um, iTunes Connect account. And then you can click on Manage Your Books. Now, I will be honest, it might take you know a few hours before that option is available to you, but if you click on Manage Your Books, 
then here you'll see the books that have either been approved or pending approval. So my podcast basics books I did about a month ago, it's on store, has a green light. The one that I created a couple weeks ago or a week ago says not in store. I can click on here and see the details as to why. It's simple. The book is still in review. So they review the book for quality insurance. If there's an issue, they will let you know on this page uh, what those issues are and what you need to correct before they will allow it into the store. And uh, that's how you publish an iBook using iBook Author. And it's really cool, guys. I mean, uh, interactive books are awesome. It's awesome to be able to put video and images and everything else into your iBook. So um, I uh, welcome you to visit SeanOsman.com where I have a full blog put together, a uh, full blog post put together with all these videos and everything you need to know about creating an iBook using iBook Author. So. Uh, may you find freedom online and uh, we will see you soon.